Okay, so Echo Episode 2. So this one was a really short one. Basically, um, Maya gets it into her head that she is going to take down Fisk Shipping. Unfortunately, her uncle works for Fisk Shipping, so things become complicated. Now, um, she recruits Biscuits, who at the time has no idea what's going on. He, he, he does know enough about Maya to ask if what she has in mind is illegal, but he still goes along with it. And, um, so he at first says, you know, I'm meeting grandma for dinner and she's like, yeah, you can do that for the rest of your life. It's fine. So Biscuits does what he's, what Maya asks him and, um, she finds a particular car. Be and at first I thought it was just a random car that she picked in the middle of the train, but based on Henry's conversation with the workers, I'm going to say she picked that one purposely. So she puts an explosive in there, a liquid explosive. And um, so then when, when one of the, um, when, when one of the packages are, is opened, it detonates. So it blew up pretty much the entire shipping building. Um, Henry gets a call about it and asks Maya to, that they need to talk. While this is happening, Chula figures out what happened to the truck. And, of course, her friend is completely confused and thinks that he got the truck in that condition where, no, he, he destroyed the truck. And, um, so, Chula, when she found out that Maya was even back, that she was seen at the skate park, went to see Henry and is hoping that Maya just, you know, goes through. She doesn't want to have anything to do with Maya. Um, Scully, on the other hand, he, he, he doesn't see the tension. He, um, loves Maya. He welcomed her back when she needed a new leg because, her other one got caught in the train, between the train guards. And um, just like previous ancestors, she was given the power of strength. So she was able to dislodge her leg. Otherwise, she'd be hopping on one leg all the way back, but... So, um, I'm pretty sure Chula now knows what's going on, or at least has a sense. Um, Biscuits is trying to sell his PlayStation because he, well, needs the money for repairs. Because he already knows that Grandma is going to kill him. So, he made the mistake while talking to Bonnie about mentioning that Maya is back. Bonnie um, does try to text Maya. Um, I really worry if what's going to happen to her. If she's going to be, if she, either she or Biscuits ends up dying, and this is going to be Maya's call to action to, you know, actually take, take family matters seriously. Because she even told Henry when Henry said, 
um, you keep forgetting the people closest to you are the ones who always get hurt. And she's like, who is that? So she doesn't think she's close to any family. So basically she's taking advantage of the family that cares about her. But she seems to be acting like she doesn't give a crap about them. Even though we know she at least cares about Bonnie because she went to see her at the fire station even though she just looked and not actually interacted with Bonnie. Um, so yeah, this was a short episode. Um, it was very weird in, well, the whole um, Native American thing was weird. And apparently Chula is a descendant of the first Choctaw. And that she could tell Maya about all about Chafa. And um, Maya seems not interested at all. Probably because she knows that Chula doesn't like her. Any, mo Ugh. Any more than Chula didn't like her father. Um, Henry told her that she sounds like Fisk. Which, that makes sense. He's the one who trained her. So, it would make sense that she would sound like him. So, I'm wondering if if something happens to, specifically Bonnie, because that seems to be the only person that she truly gives a shit about. Everyone else she's using. She's staying away from Bonnie. And I think it's because she knows that if she gets close to Bonnie, that... Something bad might happen. But she's willing to use Henry. She's willing to use biscuits, which, you know, that just, you know, it's great that Biscuits is willing to help her. But I feel bad for him because Maya doesn't seem to care that he she's putting Biscuits in a really bad position. So, yeah, I really wonder who ends up getting hurt that makes her realize that she's going down the wrong path. That she shouldn't be a villain. That this might turn her, make her more of an anti-hero. I believe that's what she is in the comics. More of an anti-hero. Started as a villain and became an anti-hero at some point. So, I believe I covered everything in this episode. Like I said, this was a short one. Very short one. I was very shocked when it ended. Because a good part of it was showing this, um, this, I don't know, game-like thing that they were playing. And that, in order, that whoever loses, loses their lands forever. So they spent so much on that that the actual meat of the story went by very quick. But anyway, that is all I have for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.